Thank you. How is Alabama? Fine, fine. You ready? Yes, we're ready. We're on um, the phone. We're on speakerphone and ready to go. Good. Okay. Um, I'm ready with you. Are. So we'll just go ahead and start. So, you ready, Papa? I've got my speaker on. I'm closing my hand. So, ready? Okay. You can help us set off. So. She wants you to say yes. Yes, she's ready too. Okay. Okay. Hey, Greg. Hey. How's Alabama? It's cold. It is so cold. Hey, so, hey, welcome to the Elder Law Report. And this is Greg McIntyre, the Elder Law Guy, coming to you from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And I'm coming to you from Tuscaloosa, Alabama because the gentleman sitting on the couch right here with the long legs reading a book. What are you reading, Jordan? Pride and Prejudice? What are you reading? Huh? The Princess Bride. He's reading The Princess Bride. So, so. Okay, I'm not going to share. He's not reading. <laughs> okay, I'm not well, why do I not believe that? <laughs> he, no, he really is. Really? Yeah, yeah, he's sitting down reading The Princess Bride, too. Jordan's down here because, and we're down here in Alabama because Jordan has a kind of honors college thing tomorrow. Um, all day, so we came down, drove all night last night. Got Got up this morning, the tires flat in the back, uh, back passenger side of the car. Jordan's car we got it. I hope I shook it up enough. I'm hoping this works. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, I got a couple cans of fix a flat. I just came out this morning and it was uh it was flat. I mean there's always there's always something, you know? There's always something it seems like. We got here last night in the hotel that we had booked and we're in the lobby of the hotel right now um, at the Embassy Suites Hilton here in downtown Tuscaloosa next to the campus. But uh, it seems like the best laid plans sometimes, even with plans, things go wrong. We got here at like 6, 6.30 in the morning and we had booked a room at the Home 2 Suites by Hilton, which is down the road. And they had us a single king, king size bed instead of uh, two doubles or two full size beds. Um, and we got Tucker. Tucker, say hey. Hi. Let me see. Tuck, Tuckles is down here. He's. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Tucker's filming for us. Tucker's more of the cameraman, I guess. And and uh, anyway, but we we got down here. We you know I've got the boys with me, and um, um, they didn't have the room we needed, so we had to cancel and try to go somewhere else. And it took us two hours to finally find a place in town that had a, a room with a double bed or two or two beds in it and uh so you know we got to sleep didn't you know didn't get up this morning and film the show early and you know finally got some sleep got up about noon but uh and then go outside and the tires flat right i mean so how's that for uh for for a start to uh to his alabama trip and uh but it just makes me think and you know we were talking uh, you know about planning uh, what we do a lot is planning. Wouldn't you agree, Haiti? Yes. And in about no matter what we do, it involves some planning, not only on the our part, you know, preparing and getting everything ready, but people in their lives planning and planning ahead and then uh, planning at the last minute and crisis planning. So you're looking at her, the best laid plans don't always... You know, the best laid, laid plans sometimes go awry, but I mean, you still want to stay positive. I want to stay positive. It's going to be a great trip. I gotta get a fix a flat, get in the tire, make sure I take the service station, let them check it out. But uh, you know, make sure everything's okay. But uh, but the reason we're down here is for him to go to this honors college thing. He, you know, he's gotten into Alabama for next year. Um, they have a good aerospace engineering program. He's thinking about doing that. I mean, it freaks me out because that's a lot of that's a lot of money, right? 
Um, I mean, it's you know, a lot of money for college, and uh, I don't know that I've saved enough, right? I mean, you know, in life, you know, you, you have 18 years goes by so fast for a child to grow up. I mean, it's just the blink of an eye. Um, seems like he, you know, he was a baby and, and newborn, and now he's going to college. Um, so a lot of times, you know, families will set up, uh, you know, the savings plans for college, or a lot of times grandparents will want to help save uh, and, and help with the kids' college as well. Um, Hayden, uh, I know that you have children and grandchildren. What do you find among your friends uh, that they're talking about, you know, with college uh, and, and grandchildren, children and grandchildren going to college? Well, I can more readily um, express my situation. Uh, some of my friends don't have grandchildren, remarkably. And those who do, the children have, you know, been very successful and they're, you know, at a point where, you know, they're uh, at, at least can ensure that their children have a uh, good education, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there'll be enough left to take care of them and their needs. And uh, in my situation, I have three grandchildren, uh, my daughter's children, and I have always been determined to, I've invested most of my money in my home, and that home is to go to my two children, and they are to ensure that any of the three children who need assistance going to college, you know, that's what, that's the purpose, you know, for, for that, and of course for emergency needs. And I was looking at the cost of colleges and universities, and it's mind-boggling uh, how where people get this amount of money. The average cost of a private school, a private school or university, is $34,740 per year. For a state college, a resident, it's $9,970 per year. An out-of-state college, union university, state college, university, $25,620 a year. It's just, just people just don't have that kind of money sometimes. And they plan and the best laid plans don't work. So I just want to make sure that my children have that opportunity and my grandchildren. So that's my main goal in life is to have that for them and I don't want to lose it. Have you worked your entire life so that your life savings and even your home can be taken away? I'm attorney Greg McIntyre. When people think of an estate plan, they think of a will or a power of attorney. But if you have a home, savings, maybe some stocks, maybe even a vacation home, you need to put protections in place that those documents do not guarantee. Let me help protect you and your hard-earned money and property. Call McIntyre Elder Law at 855-267-5052. One way to do that is to preserve the assets for the family. Um, and and uh, trust can be set up to help with children, you know, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, to make sure that there's educational trust set up or discretionary trust to pay for that child's education and then say disperse money uh, more, you know, the rest of the money to them as they are older. So I, I do a number of trusts on a regular basis that are geared around um, making sure that grandkids or great-grandchildren go to college uh, and do that on a regular basis. So trust planning can be important in setting aside money to make sure children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren go to college and help make sure what you've worked for your entire life can help uh, better your family and be used the right way. Um, well, Hayden, thank you so much for being uh, with me today. I'm going to go uh, get a fix a flat, put it in the tire, see if that will pump it up so I can limp it over to the uh, service station. Either that, I'm going to have to change the tire and uh, and get it over to a service station to take a look at that tire and see what's wrong with it. What about AAA? Triple A would be great. I need to get. That would be there a you go. That's a good plan. Yeah, I do not have AAA on my car. I just purchased that car brand uh, two days ago. Well, maybe that would be a good uh, grad, uh, graduation gift from a grandparent, AAA for the graduate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. AAA would be great. Yeah. Absolutely. But I'm going to go scramble and, and, and do that, and then we're going to try to make, uh, make a good day out of it. Well, right. I hope yeah. it is. I hope it is. Enjoy Thanks. the boys. Thanks. What's that? Enjoy the boys. I will. I will. Stay warm up there. And, you know, if you need any help with your plans, 
or say, you know, helping make sure the grandchildren, children, great grandchildren go to college, or would look at want to look at trust planning to make sure you set that up. We draft uh, trusts like that, discretionary trusts, on a regular basis, and we'd be glad to sit down with you and talk to you about those plans. You even do okay. trusts for other attorneys. What's that? You even do some trusts for other attorneys for we their clients. For, for attorneys on a regular basis, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you, I'm going to go back and edit this out. Uh, so. So, so it's you and Shelby Hayden and it's me in Alabama. Yeah. I'm going to edit out, you know, I'm going to um, put in uh, some photos of the campus and other things in there as well. Got oh, it? I look forward to seeing it. We do draft trust for other attorneys on a regular basis. And I'll tell you, I'm going to go back and edit this out. Uh, so, so, so it's you and Shelby Hayden and it's me in Alabama. And I'm going to edit out, you know, I'm going to um, put in uh, some photos of the campus and other things in there as well. Okay. All right, well, you guys have a great day. Thank you, Taylor. Bye, Greg. Bye now. Bye.